Uh-oh. Hey, stop it. Hey. You don't want to do this. Hey. No, that mother chocolate. I'm gonna block the door. <laughs> Hello, interwebs, and welcome back. I'm Shanna, and this is why I share my life and stories and visions and opinions and whatever else I feel like. And today we are back and continuing the video game Breeder on Nintendo Switch. If you guys don't know what this game is about, you are more than welcome to continue watching from here. But I do recommend going back and watching the first part of this video. I will leave a link down in the description below so you know exactly what is going on. But we're still kind of trying to figure everything out. So without too much rambling, let's go ahead and get into it. So what I did was I literally just left the game unpaused because I couldn't figure out how to save it. I don't think you can. I think you just have to play through. So we are literally right where we left off in the last video and uh, let's just go from here and see what happens. So where do we need to go next? What happens when we go down here? Did we already look at this? We might have already looked at this if we did. Um, sorry, but if we, did, is that, is it just me or does it look like there's some weird little monster thing in the side of the wall there? Looks like there's a weird little monster thing. Oh, I'm stuck. Why isn't it moving? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. When I slept at my buddy's place. Okay. We must have some weird little, like, light that shows the galaxy and stars stuff. That's cool. Little robot. Hi. I would like to interact with you. Oh, there's no interaction. Hello? Okay, I'm frozen. What is going on? We've got some books. Why are they lighting up? Oh. Gold, amber, blue, amber, black, amber, toothbrush, red, amber, broken, or snail? Okay, what's ha what happens if we choose gold, amber? Some people think I'm crazy because I always carry my stones with me. There's something in there, but I can't see what it is. Okay. Sometimes my stones vibrate. I like it. I bet you do. I'm sorry. Inappropriate. Toothbrush. Mom always said I should brush my teeth three times a day. I mean, at least two. Three's a little bit excessive, probably. It's probably not good for your enamel. The stone is broken. It looks like something came out of it. Ooh, what came out of it? Was it the snail? Let's find out. A snail. There's something familiar about it. Oh. Okay, that's it. All right, cool. Hello? Why am I stuck again? Due to the game continuously freezing, I finally just restarted it. And also, Andrew entered the room. Oh, so you went into this game completely blind? Yeah. Oh, maybe you can continue the game because it said load game. Did it just pick up? Okay. Yeah, there must be. Okay. Aha, now it's working. T tomorrow is the 30th of May. Pops bought me a new pin for school. The ships of the Empire are close. We must find a place to hide. Yeah, it must autosave. Which, I mean, that's cool. Why is my toothbrush lighting up? Oh, let's brush our teeth. Mom said I should watch over my father. I don't know if I'm doing a good job at that. Pop seems very scared recently. I like how that's what we're thinking about while we're brushing our teeth. I don't know. I usually sing songs in my head, I think. Hmm. What do you think about when you brush your teeth? Everything. Okay. It's pretty much the same stuff I always think about. A bunch of old family albums. Why are they glowing, though? It's making me wonder what do people think about when they're brushing their teeth. I usually sing songs in my head, I think, when I brush my teeth. <laughs> I 
You make a new friend. Excuse me, what do you think about when you brush your teeth? <laughs> there are only news reports on TV. Apparently there was a terrorist attack somewhere. Lights flashing. Apparently there was a terrorist attack somewhere. It was this, when was this made? What are you doing here, stepmother Jacqueline? Waiting. Yes, that's what I'm doing. Waiting for your dad to finally do something. What should he do? I can't take it anymore. That noise, it's in my head all the time and it makes me do things. I can't explain it, but can I help? I feel like I'm slowly becoming a stranger to myself, David. And I hate how I am around your father. I hate how I am with you. I hate the little moments of absence I have, just sitting there staring at the wall, doing nothing. Should I find Pops? What? Oh, yes. Find your father. Tell him that he has to put an end to it. She sounds like she's having some kind of psychotic break. Honestly. Oh, we got alcohol. I'm not thirsty. Well, you're too young to drink alcohol anyway. So am I, wait, am I supposed to find father? Father? Where are you, Dad? Paul, an old friend of mom came by today. He wanted to see the cabin. Pops got really angry and slapped him in the face. Well. Well, that's, that's fine. That sounds sassy. Oh, there's Dad. Hey, Pops. Stepmother Jacqueline is looking for you. I know she is. She wants me to do something I can't do. I tried, I really did, but I can't. What is it, Pops? Oh, nothing a boy your age should be worrying about. Can I help? You can be a good boy and fix me something to drink. I don't know, a coffee or something. Okay, so I guess we have to go back and make him a drink. I think Daddy needs some booze. Yeah, I'm thinking. Let's make him an Irish coffee. Oh, that's not the right room. <laughs> all right take coffee take take irish coffee all right <clears throat> exactly what pops needs i wonder if like you do get different outcomes based on your choices i don't know here's a coffee Hmm, this coffee is good. I feel a little better now. Bet you do. What's wrong with you, Pops? You wouldn't understand. Being a doll is complicated. It's not like you expect it to be. How is it? Like being sick. Like you wake up every morning with a cold and you never know where you caught it. Sounds terrible. You know that I lost my mother, too, when I was about your age. I'm really sorry you had to live with that. What? I'm really sorry you had to live that, son. I wish we could still be together, all of us. It's okay. I hope you are happy, David. I don't know if you are, but I hope you find happiness sometimes. I am, Pops, especially when I play with my buddy. Your buddy? You have told me so much about him. You should bring him home one day to play video games or something. What do you think? Anyway, I can't do what your stepmother wants me to. Tell her that. Tell her I'm sorry. Okay. You think stepmom's a psycho? Yeah. In what way? She probably wants to, like, torture them or something. And he doesn't seem happy. <laughs> Pop says he can't do it. Uh, how could I not see how weak he is? My mother told me to never trust a man. She was right about that. What do you want him to do? I want him to finally get rid of it, to kill... Oh, David, you have no idea. You're a little boy. I thought marrying your father was a good idea, but you never know, really, what people hide, the weight of their lies. I thought adults don't lie. They do. Sadly, they do. Anyway, go tell your dad I can't live with this noise anymore. <laughs> what the is exactly my sentiment, Andrew? Exactly. Why are you involving your child in this? Stepmother Jacqueline says, I know what she says. She doesn't understand. 
Pops, what's going on between you and stepmother Jacqueline? It's complicated, son. Your stepmother and I have been together for a long time now. After a while, you start understanding things about each other, and sometimes you get disappointed. Jacqueline is a little disappointed, that's all. Why? There are things I just can't do. I hope she would understand that. She did it first, but now, well, you see how it is now. Was it like that with mom too? No, it wasn't. Your mother was the most amazing person I ever met. I want to remember her, you know. I want to see her, but her face gets all blurry in my mind. Oh, David, sometimes I wish I could just go down and see her. Go down memory lane, I mean. I'm sure I can find a picture to help you remember what she looked like. Oh, yes, that would be nice. Okay, so we need to find a picture of stepmother. Let's check the records. Man, this is not a good situation. Um, well, in the first episode, we went down some weird hole into this weird land where, like, our mom was. And she gave us these rocks to take back, which are, oops, wrong button. These rocks, I'm guessing. Like, you missed me reading this earlier, so I'll read it again. Gold amber. Some people think I'm crazy because I always carry my stones with me. Blue amber. There's something in there, but I can't see what it is. Black amber. Sometimes my stones vibrate. I like it. Toothbrush. Mom always said I should brush my teeth three times a day. Red amber. It's broken. The stone is broken. It looks like something came out of it. And a snail. A snail. There's something familiar about it. In one album, there's an old picture of mom. Her face is missing as if someone tore it out. Let's take the picture. Oh, I, not, I have no idea who could have possibly torn mom's photo. No clue. Would definitely not be stepmother Jacqueline. She's not crazy at all. She would never. It's all blurry in my mind. Okay, well, I have a... You don't want the photo? You don't... I can't... Okay. Well, guess there's something else we're supposed to do. Yeah, the torn out face will now take the picture. Um, maybe I can use my school pin to draw mom's face. Hmm. All right, we drew mom's face. <laughs> Probably. I mean, he's, I think, six years old in this game. I think if that's, that's what they said in the last episode. So, what's that? It's mom. I didn't find any picture with her face on, so I drew her. Oh, that that's very nice. She looked exactly like that. <laughs> do you remember now? Yes, yes, I do. She was beautiful, wasn't she? Why did you need stepmother Jacqueline? I don't know, son. It was too hard for me to be alone, I guess, in this house without your mother. There are too many memories here. I needed help, you know, or else I was going to lose myself. Does stepmother Jacqueline still help you with that? Not really. She wants to, me to get rid of... It's hard to explain. Sometimes a man has something about himself he loves a lot. A pride, a power, something he learned to love. And he knows that his, this power hurts people around him, but he can't get rid of it. Why? Because over the years, it has become a part of him. What should I st tell stepmother Jacqueline? No need to say anything. She knows. You should go to bed, son. It's late. I'm going to talk to stepmother Jacqueline anyway and see if she has anything to say. Like a true six-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself, stepmother Jacqueline? You make dad sad. He's not going to do it, is he? He's just going to stay there and complain about how difficult it is to be a grown-up. Stepmother Jacqueline... Oh. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. Hey. Stop it. Hey. Uh -oh. You don't want to do this. Hey. No, you don't want to do Stepmother Jacqueline, this. I'm going to block the door. <laughs> you can't do... Oh, wait. Oh, no, door. not the door. Rock oh, door. Wrong door. Wrong door. Wrong door. I can't walk... I can't go in. No! No! <laughs> I was trying to go in. It wouldn't let me oh. in. Oh. Wait, can I see what's going on from the bathroom? Hold on. Stepmother Jacqueline has sparkling supernatural powers. I can't, <laughs> I I can't see anything. This. I can't see Dad's anything. Not there no more. Okay. Oh, he's still there. He's still there. I wonder if they're fighting. 
Can I put my ear to the door? I can't hear anything. Should we brush our teeth again? Mom told us to brush our teeth three times a day. <laughs> brush teeth. Okay, do one more time. That'll be three times. Beautiful. Well, I guess we should just go to bed. Should we play some games? Do do. No, well, let us play games. Okay. Well. Let's talk to the robot. The ships of the Empire are close. We must find a place to hide. Um. Nope. I can't interact with the bed. What else am I supposed to do? Don't think I'm supposed to no sleep on the couch. Let's drink. What if I come back in here? Maybe there's something else. No. Okay. Um. Maybe you can go in between the doors. Wait, no, it's not shut yet. I can try and interact with it again and see if it'll let me. What they said earlier. Oh, okay. I'm wondering what the relevance of a terrorist attack somewhere has to do with anything. I'm not thirsty. Can we go? Oh, we went out the back door, I think. Woohoo! All right, now let's sneak around, sneak around to the window Daddy's at. I don't think we can. That seems like there's probably some kind of fence. Yeah. Yesterday, Pops buried something here. I think it was Stepmother Jacqueline's ID card. That's really random. Why would you bury an ID card? That's the hole. Enter the hole. Should we go find our mom again? I wonder if we can. Ooh, it's spaceship. My father. Can this thing fly? I'm sure it can. What you build always looks better than the real thing, buddy. You should have created everything. Okay, that was weird. Oh, can't keep going that way. Oh. Oh. It's like a maze. Oh, wait. No. Okay, I think this is as far as I can go. It doesn't look like I can go anywhere else. No, no. What the heck am I looking for? There's the, oh, there's mom. Hey, mom. What's up? Hey, mom. Can we do something else today? I don't really feel like hide and seek. Well, apparently she feels like hide and seek because her, she disappeared on you. She said, nah, we play in hide and seek. What the hell is this? Is that our robot head? When I was little, I always thought my robot was going to protect me from all the bad things. Now, I know you are the one protecting me, buddy. Yeah, you're right. We will show them all. That noise startled me. <laughs> Pops and stepmother Jacqueline had a bad argument today. I feel like it's getting worse. They don't even pay attention to me anymore. Maybe you could tell them that they don't have to fight like this. You know, that everything is okay? Find the stones first, sweetie. Well, not these stones. We gotta find some other stones. Okay. Looking for some stones. Can we go past her? Nope. Okay. Gotta find the stones. Not that way. Do you have the stones, boy? 
Whoa, look at that tree. It looks like an alien. That's weird looking. There's the rocket ship. What the hell is that? Sometimes I feel alone amongst the ones I love. It's a mask. Do you? Yeah, I do. Then let me introduce you to someone that will cheer you up. Ah, he brought us to the stone. Boy one. No, don't do that, please. If you bring it back to life, it will. You have no idea what that thing is capable of. Look around you. This thing, it is stealing us. Well, too late. Already decided to take it. Um, Mr. Mask, can you take me back? I prefer places that whisper in the dark. What about you? Um, I have no idea what you're talking about. It is said that nothing can be known. A friend of mine surely thinks so. Meet ignorance. Okay. We got another stone. Take stone. Don't do that. Don't help it come back. It uses you, David, the same way it used your mother and me. This ambition, it doesn't care about you. It doesn't care about anything. Well, I don't think we have a choice. Like, I think we have to take the stones, so. The meaning of things is beyond my reach. Therefore, I settle for their hollow shells. What about you? Depends. Life is complicated sometimes, or mom always says I understand everything. Which one should we choose? Number one? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I know someone you might like, human. Meet confusion. Well, I've already got a lot of confusion, okay? Do we have other stones now? Nope, it's still the same. Let's go talk to mom again. I wonder if the different choices take us to different stones. But I don't know how many stones we're supposed to get. Oh, nope, that's not the way to mom. All the stones, but how many stones are there? Where was mom? This way? I don't think it was this way. No. Um. Mom, I'm lost. <laughs> Was she past the robot head? I don't think so, but I don't know. Maybe. I feel like she's like, yeah, she's to the left. Because that's where the seat has the seat, I think. God, I'm directionally challenged. She hasn't been to see it anyway. Okay, there's robot head. Oh. Was she right here? Now she's not here. Hey, buddy. Can I crash here tonight? Cool. Thanks. Can we play the game? All right. Guess we're going to sleep. Hey, buddy. Thanks for the stones. I will keep them forever. Good night, buddy. One of my stones hatched. I remember now. So this is like old man is supposed to be present day and we're kind of time traveling back to see his memories. This is disorienting. There's mom and, or stepmother Jacqueline and dad. I can't interact with them though. Why is there a stain on the bed? I think somebody got killed. I 
don't think somebody peed the bed. All right, there's all the kids in the hole again. Kind of the robot. I don't want to see if I can interact with them yet because last time it took me directly out of this, I think. I want to. It says no future. And then future. Mm -hmm. And it says Brita's there with a the monster. Empty boxes. And then there they are again. Everything will be all right, Paul. You just need to hang in there for a little while. I know, but. Depression is a tough one to beat. Nobody will blame you. What? Depression? You're kidding me, right? I'm not depressed. I'm... You know exactly what's wrong with me. You know it. It's the thing we saw when we were kids. I can't... We were children. You know how children are. I'm sure we just imagined it. I can't get out of my head, Annie. This horrible noise. It was just some kind of weird animal. Nothing more. Do you still have it? You should forget about that. Go get help. Find a girl. Live a little. You do. Do you? You still have it? I met a man you know, Patrick. A really sweet guy. It helps to be in love. It makes life better. You kept it all this time. You lied to us? You have to destroy it, please. You have to get this thing out of my head. The snail is growing. What the hell? Okay, now we're back to present day. As an old man. I don't know if those are stones or glasses or like yeah 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 or drugs mouth of madness should we go there do you want to go to the mouth of madness the garden the place of all the adventures i used to go there to play with my buddy sneaking around pops when he finished washing the dishes good times they were remember when Pops washed the dishes. It's time to go to bed, champ. You have to be well rested if you want to go to Snuckles tomorrow. Okay, Pops. Good night, then. Good night, son. But we're not going to bed. We're going to go adventure. Don't let the Empire catch us. I always check to see if I can play the video game because it let us play the video game in the very beginning. My school thinks tomorrow is the 4th of April. I've finished all my homework already. Our inventory is... Oh! No, it shows two of them broken now. The red is broken and the amber is broken. The stone remembers. What does the stone remember? Should we go brush our teeth? This is the way we brush our teeth. Brush our teeth, brush our teeth. Mom told me everything will be all right because I'm a brave boy. I can still hear the water dripping. There's a purse on the bed. Pops has been building this spaceship for ages now. It reminds me of my game a bit. can't interact with it hmm okay let's see I think the neighbors are all asleep it looks peaceful out there
Indiana Jones is on TV. Me and my buddy, me and my buddy, we love that movie. It sounds like static, though. It doesn't sound like an actual show is playing. You shouldn't worry so much. He's a young boy. When I was his age, we used to do far more dangerous things. It's not like that, Patrick. I'm not worried about him going out to play in the garden. It's that thing. What if he finds it? You can't honestly think it's safe. For Christ's sake, Patrick, why don't we just tell the police? Our lives would never be the same if we did. You know that, honey. I will figure something out. Don't worry. When? We've been married for two years now, and this thing is still out there. It doesn't do anything, really. It's just there, like one of your plants. Yes, it does do something. You're being paranoid. I know how weird all of this is, but I can assure you we are not in danger. You have to trust me, honey. I promise I will get rid of it. In the meantime, just try to think, try not to think about it, okay? Okay. I'm finished with the dishes now. I think I'll watch TV for a little while. Do you still have the keys to the garden? Yes, I'm going to hide them in our room. Oh, we got caught. I wondered if that was going to happen. What are you doing here, David? Go back to bed. Okay, so I guess we have to try again and not get caught this time. Unless the keys are already in her room. Nope. Okay. Well, let's go back. And, okay, we're just going to speed through all this, because it's all going to be the same, and let's go hide really quick. Are we going to see him walk by? How do we know when they're done? Oh, mom caught us, dang it. All right, well, try again. <laughs> We're sleeping around, Mom. I didn't even use my room. I wonder how long we have to wait. Maybe we should try and get in bed and see if it, like... Nope. Okay, I'm just gonna hide in the shadows. How long should we wait? What do you think? We can't let the Empire catch us. They must be the Empire. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, Okay. Where would she hide the keys, though? Now we can interact with the bag. Let's take the key. Okay, we got the key for the garden. Now we gotta try and get to the garden without getting caught. I don't think there's a door that goes between these rooms. Yeah, there's not. That's just a wall. All right, well, we gotta be sneaky. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Apparently we were sneaky enough. Super schnicky, schnicky snacks. Stepmother Jacqueline will kill me if I step on her garden. Well, we're step not going to step on her garden. On Why is there a notebook here? Pop sits there all day pretending to read. Oh, I think that was there before. Oh, look at the tree. It's all lit up, all pretty. How beautiful. All right, let's go.
We're going to go visit our weird friend who's probably some kind of monster in another world with our mom. Let's enter the hole. Cool, buddy. That's the boss from my video game. Did you do that for me? Haha, <laughs> you're the best. Oh, look, it's Mom. Hey, Mom, I'm back. Can we play hide and seek? Gonna take that as a yes. Mom's like, yeah, hide and seek. I'm really good at it because I know how to just disappear. I see you. Haha, <laughs> you're so bad at hiding. Mom, can we go see my buddy? I'm gonna take that as a yes as well. Let's go this way. Straight to hell, probably. <laughs> Ooh, the fox head. You can ask me one question, little man. Who are you, or why is Pops acting so weird lately? Ooh. Ooh. I think we should ask about Pops. What do you think? Yeah. I can't tell you that. Why would you tell me I can ask you one question and then not answer the question? Well, it said that you can ask, not that I provide an answer. True. I can't tell you that, little man, but I can tell you one other thing. You will never leave this place. Well, that's rude. No more questions for you, little man. Okay. Oh, there's another fox. You can ask me one question, little man. How can I beat my video game or will I become famous? Uh, what? Uh, will I become famous? I can't tell you that, little man, but I can tell you one other thing. One day you will rule over this world. So I'll be famous. Mm -hmm. You can ask me one question, little man. When am I going to die? Where is my buddy coming from? I think where is my buddy coming from? I can't tell you that, little man, but I can tell you one other thing. Time is irrelevant. Okay. Ooh, an egg. No, no, little man. This is not for you. Or is it? Did you earn it? Are you really prepared for the power that rests down here? Well, I wasn't really given much of a choice, but... Who's that? Is that me? I got goosebumps. <laughs> what the heck is happening? There's so many little me's everywhere. can't go that way. The me that's not disappearing and holding out an egg? No. I'm curious how well the mic is picking you up. I'm probably just going to sound like I'm talking to myself. No, you mumble a lot. Where am I supposed to go? Okay, that's the same. Okay, well, where where am I supposed to go now? It did say I would never get out of here, to be fair. Over where? Oh. What will you do, old man? All the Davids are saying that to me? Okay. David's. Look at this place. Isn't it perfect? This world. It's like home, but better. Complete. Take the amber, Grandpa. Do it. Let's have some fun like in the old days. One of my stones hatched. I remember now. So it's like, as we're going down these memories, a stone is hatching each time. And we're remembering something new. It appears. Who are all the children? Okay, this is all the same as before. How? 
Hashtag. Patrick, I... What is it, baby? I have to tell you something. What is it? You're starting to scare me. Don't tell me you have another guy. I... That's it. You love someone else? No, no, not someone. I... At first I tried to leave it, you know. I wanted to at some point. I really wanted to. But then I realized it's not possible. You can't. It always finds a way back. Baby, are you drunk? And then I realized I understand why it always comes back. Because of me. Because it loves me. Who loves you? What are you talking about? I can show you if you want. Follow me. The snail is growing. I feel like the snail's a metaphor for something. But what? What is the snail a metaphor for? So we already went to the mouth of madness. What else can we do? He walks so slow. <laughs> Yeah, you right. There's nothing to interact with in here. Can't play video games anymore. What's that say on the wall? Don't lose your head. Our robot's still here. Keep up the good fight. Did we just say that to the robot, though? Apparently, it's still. Oh, the blue amber's broken now. I think my buddy gave me these stones, so I will never forget him. So we've got one stone and a toothbrush left. Okay. Interesting. Stones. The stones. That's not blood. As, did it just glow? Just looking at it like it. She wasn't an easy one, stepmother Jacqueline. Sometimes she gave Pops a hard time just for speaking too loud. She didn't like my buddy either. Remember. When stepmother Jacqueline was angry. Well, she's been angry throughout the whole game, if you want my opinion, but okay. <laughs> She's kind of a beach, and not a good beach, like the bad beach. The empire is defeated. It's time to feast. Well, I don't know about that. Tomorrow is the 9th of June. I don't know what's going to happen. Well, nobody knows what's going to happen. Well, you should, because this is the past. You, you, that's true. Can't play the game still. Uh-oh, Fox. That fox head's been there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Brush teeth. Happy time. Mom always said I was going to do great things. I'm sure I will one day. Okay. I don't know why Pops doesn't finish his ship. It's like he doesn't want it to be complete. It's hot and sticky outside. I hate it. They must be in Florida. <laughs> oh, uh -oh. that doesn't look good. Why is the light knocked over? Gosh, this place is a mess. There's a piece of paper with an inscription on top of the box. I can't complete, I can't compete with a memory, it says. Okay. Or stepmother Jacqueline about mom. Maybe. I can't compete with the memory, and she had destroyed the memory. Oh, where's that? That's her purse. Uh -huh. Stepmother Jacqueline left her bag on the floor. It's filled with brochures about domestic violence. The TV seems to be broken. The screen shows only static and weird colors. Like 
don't know. Stepmother Jacqueline drinks a lot these days. I don't think alcohol is good for her. Well, typically, yes. Should we go outside? Okay. Into the hole? Dad. No, 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 no. What is she doing? Oh my God, why did she have to do that? What are you talking about? Your mother is in there, in the hole. I should never have let her go. I should have killed this thing a long time ago. She wouldn't let me, your mother. She loved it too much. Now it's too late. Jacqueline burned it all down. Oh no, my buddy. Oh, something's on fire. I can hear it. Should we check the garden first? Yeah. Let it burn! Oh. Yep, she set the shed on fire. What a beach. I put an end to it, David. I finished it. Your father wouldn't do anything. For years, he told me he was going to find a way. I will find a way, honey. Don't worry, honey. You're being paranoid, honey. I have to go down there. You know what the crazy thing is? It's not the thing. It's me. How can someone live like that, sharing my husband with this stupid, this whatever this bloody thing is? Let me go through, please. I thought it was your mother's death that made him like that. I was wrong. Your father is crazy. He didn't want to find a way. He never even really considered it. He loved that thing, that monster down there. My buddy, I have to help my buddy. It took me all these years to realize that he was just dragging me with him into his madness. This monster, it doesn't feel anything. It doesn't think. All it does is copy us, aimless, emotionless. It all ends tonight. Well, goodbye, stepmother Jacqueline. That's the, that's the gas can. These trees are awfully close to the fire. That seems quite dangerous. There's no time for that. I have to help my buddy. I guess we gotta go in. To the burning shed. The burning shed. Like how they just left a little kid to run into the shed in a fire. That sounds great. Great parenting. Parenting 101. Buddy, these stones you gave me, I know there's something special about them. Like they hold the memories of you. My memories of everything. Maybe if I break them, the memories will come out somehow. I'm sure I will find a way. Don't worry, buddy. You're not going to be dead for long. Okay. So I have to find a way to break the stones? Throw them in the pool? No. Uh, let's see. There must be something inside. Let's see. I wonder if we need to look for something that's glowing. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, these things are all the same as they were before. Oops. Oopsie. There's nothing new here. There's tools there though. Okay, but that's still all the same message. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, oh, we can't go in there though. Oh no. No, 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 no. Dad, open the door. Go away, David. Dad, what's happening? I didn't want to do that, but she gave me no choice. Oh, Dad. She destroyed it all. The th this thing down there, you know it, don't you? You go there sometimes, down the hole. Oh, David, I used to hate it so much. I used to think it was the devil. But your mother, she loved it. She loved it more than she ever loved us, David. What did you do, Dad? Uh-oh, he killed stepmother Jacqueline. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, son. I never wanted you to live that. Being born in this family? Trapped with this thing? One of my stones hatched. I remember now. OK. 
Okay. This is really weird. Question. Yeah. Yeah, there's a toilet right there. We can't use it though. I tried. You can't interact with the Yeah, that's been there when we've gone to hear this part. Oh, okay. Alright, we can't interact with any of them. What's the My next? About the <laughs> if you guys didn't hear that, Andrew said his memory is about as good as his. So you need to find some stones to help you remember stuff. Look at the cross there, too. It's upside down now, and it was right side up in the regular time. <laughs> I'm not quite sure who we're supposed to interact with unless there we go stop crying Patrick you have you know I have to no you don't you can't I have no choice it's not you Patrick you were a wonderful husband you can't leave me leave us did you even think about your son of course I think about him. I think about him all the time. What kind of mother are you, leaving your own son like this? You just don't understand. It is so complete, so powerful. David will understand. He will see how happy I am. One day, he will understand. Let me at least come with you. I can't, Patrick. This place would eat you alive. Annie, please. I'm sorry, Patrick. That's what I was meant to do all these years. That's who I am. My snail is growing. Hey mom, what are you doing here? I have to tell you something, sweetie. What is it? I'm, I'm going away for a little while. Where are you going, mom? To a wonderful place, a place filled with mom. I, mom, what is it? Come with me, sweetie, but please don't tell your father. I want to introduce you to a very good friend of mine. Just blindly following our dead mother in our old age. Yeah. She's a speed racer. <laughs> it does sound healthy. Enter the hole. There's no egg, but there's a mound. Use red amber, or not now. Not now. Let's look around a little bit before we before we do that. Did you brush your teeth like I told you to? Yes. Duh. <laughs> Duh. All right, I guess the only thing we can do is place the red amber. I like the mushrooms, I think they're cute. Don't worry, buddy. Oh, now mom's gone, so we can walk through. Is everything red because it was all set on fire? Like all the trees are dead and stuff. 
I lived here my whole life, long before I went to the clinic. Hi, Vodka. Hi, baby girl. Okay, we've got these mounds everywhere. Let's interact with all of them and see, or at least try to interact with them and see what happens. Use gold amber. I'm coming to save you, buddy. All right, so that's two. Slowly but surely. Use blue amber. Soon we will be together again. There's three. So we have black amber, a toothbrush, and a snail left. Why is all of this open that we can walk through, but there's nothing here? Ooh, this is pretty. Use black amber. I'm going to bring you back, buddy. Here we go. What are you supposed to do with the toothbrush? <laughs> or the snail, for that matter, yeah. Okay, well, I guess we have to go back because there's nowhere else to go. There's nowhere else to go, so. <laughs> yes, it is. He might have. We don't know. I don't know what else to do. There's nothing else to interact with. Oh, across the bridge. No, I don't think there was a space to squeeze through. Yeah, I lived here my whole life long before I went to the clinic. Yeah, he said that earlier. Yeah, it did, but you can't. I'm so happy to be back. So happy to be back.
Now something's here. Do you have something for me? Give snail or not now? Let's give her the snail. Why not? Oh, the snail. Buddy, it was you. Well, that's creepy. Haha, ha, you're back, buddy. I'm so happy to see you. You know it wasn't easy out there. At the clinic, people thought I was crazy. Silly boy David, they called me. They never believed me when I told them I had a buddy. The nurse told me all this was happening because of Pops. Because of what he did to stepmother Jacqueline. That didn't make sense to me. Why should I be kept prisoner because of something my father did? Yeah, they're weird out there. I didn't care, though. Even when they came to tell me Pops died, I didn't care. I always knew, buddy. I always knew that you gave me those stones so I could bring you back. I kept them all this time, and now you're back. Haha, <laughs> silly boy David isn't so silly anymore. Don't worry, buddy. I'm never going to leave you again. Soon. Breeder. S <laughs> that sounds like the cliffhanger for a sequel. Okay. Well. I mean, it seems like sort of a commentary on mental health, honestly. Yeah. Honestly. I'm going to... Oh, hi, Vodka. You're under the desk. Let me do a quick Google search. So, yeah, everything you're experiencing is through his eyes. Yeah. After he witnessed the murder of his stepmother. Right. When he was only six years old. Right. Probably saw as him trying to find a way to cope with what he saw and couldn't remember things right because he was like basically doing memory blocks and rewriting information to try to make it feel okay. And the way he coped was with his buddy, which is just a snail, a pocket snail. Oh, so this is the sequel, I think, that we're playing. So it says, the first game takes place across three generations of the Carr family. You can freely choose between playing as Jacob, Marty, or Eva, all nine years old and living in the years 1951, 1987, and 2020, respectively. Regardless of which character you choose to pick, you'll immediately be confronting with an om ominous ambient drone in a house in the form of a glowing blue floor plan with the basic outlines of defining doors, walls, and interactive objects and labels for each room. The stark contrast between the character and their surroundings immediately invokes the sense of uneasy wrongness and is especially effective when paired with the ambient sounds and the fact that even the parents are merely circles labeled mother and father as though they are another part of the house. So we played the sequel, which is Breeder Homegrown. Now this person thinks this is the better of the two games, though. But if you guys want to see me go back and play the first one, let me know. I'll try and find it and download it and we can check it out. But is there going to, I want to know if there's going to be another game. Like, is there a follow up to what's going on? Or is this what Andrew said just about like 
mental health and, you know, he witnessed the murder of his stepmother who by all means was crazy in her own right, um, but had to find a way to deal with that, was in some kind of clinic and was forgetful and at the very end there was getting his memories back essentially, but... I don't see anything saying another game is coming out, though. I don't know. Maybe there is, though, and they just haven't released when it's supposed to come out, because I think this game came out last year. Oh, Andrew left. Andrew ditched me. I didn't even notice. Yeah, so I definitely think this this story is, like we were saying, you know, a commentary on, on mental health based in, like, a horror game and the, the tragedy of this child's life where he witnessed a not great relationship between his stepmother and his father. And I'm honestly curious what actually happened to his mother. Um, But, you know, I I think that could be up for interpretation. But it's, it's a sad story for sure. And it is told through the eyes of a child and of him remembering what happened. I don't know if I'm talking in circles or if anything that I'm saying even makes sense, but it's an interesting game. It's a very interesting game. I thought the style was really cool, like the art. Definitely, if you decide to play this game yourself, um, headphones are the way to go because this really kind of intensifies the mood of the actual game. Um, And I don't know. I thought it was interesting. If you guys have any recommendations for games that you want to see me play on here rather than play live or even play live over on Twitch, let me know. But um, this was interesting. I wonder if there's going to be a sequel. I will say if you want me to play the first one, um, I can see if I can find it and we can play through that. But I don't know, guys. This was it was cool. It was a cool little game. You'll have to let me know what you think down in the comments below because that pretty much wraps it up for this one. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And if you don't know what to comment down below, leave some skull emojis. Not only does it help out my channel a lot, but it lets me know that you're here. It gives us a chance to chat. It lets me know you made it to the end of the video. And of course, I just love to see your faces down there. If you want another way to help out my channel down below, there are links to my website, my merch store, and my Patreon. There's no obligation to check any of those out, but if you want to, you can. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I appreciate all of you so very much. Remember to stay Genki AF, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Oh, hello there. Yes, uh, this is me casually drinking from my Ginky AF merch because uh, I don't have any bloopers to share. But if you like my cup or my shirt or some leggings or some socks, there's links in the description below. Be Ginky as and enjoy your coffee or tea or water or whatever else you like to drink from mugs.